the mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. Everybody in the class would repeat, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. What is this? A train, right? A train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. Now here the class can think to see if they can fill in the blanks. Think about the first one. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a box. I will not eat them with a mouse. <laughs> I will not eat them in a house. Good. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham, which is here. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Say in the dark. Here in the dark. Would you, could you in the dark? He answers, I would not, could not in the dark. But would you, could you in the rain? There you can see the rain. And he answers, I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a rain train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, good. <laughs> not in a box, not with a mouse, and not with a box. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. He says, you do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. But could you, would you, with a goat? I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? What do you think the answer is? Oh, what do you see here? We have the boat, the trains falling, the car, what's this? The mouse, the goat, Sam I am with the green eggs and ham, and the fox. He answers, I could not, would not, class on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree. Now, another way to do this is you could go around the room and have each student say the answer. Um, not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. Again, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Class, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. You do not like them, so you say, but try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Again, we have our friend, the fox, the goat, and the mouse, and Sam, I am with the green eggs and ham. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, you will see. Ew, green eggs and ham, mm, I don't think so. Say, I like them. I like green eggs and ham, I do. I like them, Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat, 
and I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. Oh, they are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house, and I'll eat them with a mouse, and I'll eat them here or there. I will eat them anywhere. I do like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam, I am. Okay, so this was the while part, and obviously you would want to get the class involved as much as possible by having them repeat um, phrases like, I do not like green eggs and ham, by having them try to guess the words as when they see the blanks, um, by having certain students read instead of, of course, the teacher reading the entire story. Okay, but this is the while, and this story teaches a lot of vocabulary through rhyme and also through um, just fun pictures and goofy logic. And you also see a lot of key elements that are important for, from a lexical grammatical standpoint, such as the use of prepositions, the use of short answers with um, auxiliary verbs, um, what well, we will see with the activities. Um, so what I would do now is start the post, and this is where the students um, are going to work with activity cards. Now, what I have are five, five exercises that are connected to vocabulary, and five exercises that are, are more grammar oriented, okay? But I have several copies of the, of, well actually, two copies of every exercise, so I have a total of 10 vocabulary, and 10 of the grammar ones. Now, the advantage of, well, I can give the instructions to the, to the students. I would say, okay, class, today we're working with the activity cards. You need to form groups of four. Okay, so you, you form your groups of four. And, well, I like to put the instructions on the board so they can clearly see them. Okay, so in their groups, they take one card, okay? They write in their notebook. Okay, because these are activity cards, students know they do not write on them. Of course, there's a reminder that says, please do not write on cards, okay? The students write the answers in their notebook, okay? Then they correct, so this is gonna be step one, step two, step three. Correct, and the answers are on the back, so the students are not dependent on me. They can correct when they are ready. And the last part is to exchange. Okay, so they know that when they finish, they come forward and take another card. Okay, so I would say class, let's learn with our activity cards. Today I want you to try to do a minimum of three. Okay, three of the red ones. Okay, I say red, I don't say vocabulary or grammar, I, I give them colors. Okay, do three, minimum three of the red and minimum three of the blue. Now, if you want, if you can, you can do four or five. Uh, maybe somebody can do all of them. Now, if you need help, of course, you need to raise your hand and I can help you. Um, I'm, going, we're not, I'm going to show you the cards. Oops, mouse. So you can see what types of activities I have included. Okay, so again, this is the post. This first one deals with vocabulary, and this one has, is more structured. It gives them hints. For example, they have the picture, they have the number of letters per word, and they have one letter of the word. 
So in this case, they could 